y'all ain't ready for this one. Hey, yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Fitted Insider. Got a quick video for you guys. Got two hats, okay? Two beast hats. <laughs> Crazy hats. Both of them coming from retailers that I have never copped from before. So obviously never being showcased on the channel, whether that be this new channel or the older channel. This is brand new. I'm not gonna lie, one of them is pretty hype. It's pretty <laughs> hype. The other one, I feel like, didn't get necessarily the notoriety that it should have gotten, that's for damn sure, considering they can no longer make this hat or this logo. Let's get it. So let's get this. Once again, I got two hats coming from two different retailers that I've never copped from before. And y'all, I'm 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 telling you, like, I'm still excited by getting these hats. Because one of these hats, or kind of sort of both of them, but definitely one of them I'm kind of lucky to have gotten. And lucky in the aspect of the shipping. UPS is really, really, really bad. So I uh, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. So shout out to the one that helped me get one of these hats. You're the one. Thank you very much. Speaking of which, so here we go. Coming from Billion Creation in San Diego. Two-tone San Diego Padres with that swinging fryer. Two-tone stone on brown. And you all should know by now, stone is becoming a very popular color, and understandably so. It looks great on most two-tone hats. Swing and Fryer sporting a outline in white, and then metallic gold for the body, and then some brown to match the brim of the hat. Yes, sir. You guys probably already saw it. No patch. We got the batter man. On the side, y'all. The swinging Padre A Wax. I'll take it. I, I I think that's dope. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. So again, oof. Flat baddie Padres colors. Looks amazing. Obviously, nothing on the back. Clean tonal new era flag. At the retro Kelly green bottom, black sweatband polyester made in china so i saw billion creation post this i'm like i need to get it it happened what can i say then this is where the hype comes into play to be honest with you guys i've never been the biggest fan of the certain retailer that i cop from for my own personal reasons not gonna get into it but uh a week or two ago somebody posted in one of the facebook groups that mag park will be doing a little bit of restock on their two-tone pink mochas so i thought hmm so let's give this a try because i've never really followed mag park to the point where i'm gonna cop something on drop day or cop something on drop time and they're not necessarily the best at relaying information on these said drop times or especially their pre-orders so this was like the first chance ever opportunity at getting one and it was held on the network app which i must admit the way that they did that uh, Meg Park did that drop through the network app was far superior than the way that Hack Club handled their Mac Miller, but that's beside the point. This is the one that I ended up getting. There was four, there was two LAs, a Seattle, and then there was a Oakland Athletic Stomper. The 25th anniversary. 
Oakland Athletics Stomper. That Stomper looks badass. Two-tone brown on black. Stomper logo doing its thing. White, black, pink bats. Yes, sir. I believe that's the 25th anniversary patch. It's kind of hard to tell. Oakland kind of has some pretty bad patches, but this one, this one's not too bad. There's some red in there, some pink, white, and then there's like another shade of brown in there. It's not bad. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Red New Era flag. And then Flat Batter Man, red, white, pink. And of course, got the pink UV. Again, I don't buy many pink UVs these days, but when I do, I definitely make sure that it counts. White Guts, ooh, and polyester bang Ladash. So we got the Stomper from Magpark. So that's it, y'all. Let me know what you think down below if I kind of overreacted by getting these hats. For me, it's not really an overreaction or whatever you might want to call it. I mean, Meg Park speaks for itself. It's kind of hard to get their hats because of their exclusivity. On top of that, Billion Creations, this hat just simply will never be made again. So I think that aspect is really cool. The Swing and Fryer is becoming no longer. Swing and Fryer is being pulled from the New Era catalog, but I didn't know that at the time, to be honest. I just like the colorway, the stone and the brown and that of course come on now come on now but that is it everybody i am the fitted insider you can find me on instagram at fitted insider you can find me on tiktok at fitted insider you can leave this video a like comment and subscribe